Hey guys, and welcome back to Mega Man. Three robot masters down, three remaining, so let's continue this destruction cavalcade with Elec Man. Oh god, Elec Man's like early part of his stage. I can't get up these! I don't fucking know how you're supposed to do it. We'll see it here in a minute, obviously, but I am just complete shit at this stage. Yeah, I hope you uh, enjoy vertical platforming, because there's gonna be a lot of it in this stage. It's basically a big tower. Yeah, because that has so much to do with electricity, I guess. Just big climbing towers and stairs. You can stun these guys with the Mega Buster, but you can also destroy them completely with weapons like the Rolling Cutter, which we get from Cutman, and I think Electman's weapon as well. I don't know why I didn't think to use Robot Master's powers in the stages themselves. I was kind of conserving them for the uh, Masters themselves. My problem is that um, many times when I play a Mega Man game, you know, like a 2D one like this, Often I will just never ever use the Robot Master's weapons, even if they were more helpful in the situation, because like, I gotta save my ammo and I can't quick select them. If they had like a quick select option, I'd be more than willing to bust them out more often. Look, I really think the NES needs to get on that, you know, just add an extra button during development. Yeah, just travel back in time and slap the developer of the NES they get together. What the fuck are you doing? The yellow thing down there, used to refill your health. I think the big one gives you 10 units of health back, and the little one gives you 4, but don't quote me on that. And they uh, do change the designs uh, for those, like in the second game. Like I said, you know, earlier, the second game really improved a whole lot of the presentation, all of the elements, you know, weapons, things like that. So, again, like, this is a very big prototype, except they published it and then they sold it. You can see me just walking into the electricity over and over, because apparently I wasn't programmed to learn from my mistakes. Yeah, Mega Man, uh, they didn't really cover that part for him. Like, originally the guy was like a assistant, a house cleaning robot, or is that more Roll's job? Well, we'll find out more about Roll later. No, no, no. Rock and Roll were both made to just help uh, Thomas Light around the house, and then uh, when Wily went on and uh, became a prick, Light just basically redesigned Mega Man to... Uh, destroy Robot Masters. This here is the Magnet Beam. Kind of optional, completely optional actually. You're going to need it to complete the game though, so uh, I would recommend collecting it while you can. Well, it's not really fucking optional if you <laughs> needed to complete the game, is it? Well, I'm talking about like optional in the grand scheme of destroying a lek, man. Optional, extremely helpful <laughs> item. But you know, you can pass it up if you want. But uh, like you were saying earlier, um... You know, it is true that Mega Man, uh, Dr. Light did redesign uh, Rock to become Mega Man, but I believe Mega Man actually requested that, because, you know, he was designed with more of that active learning computer kind of thing. He was kind of the closest thing they had to an AI uh, that actually learns on its own at that point. So Rock basically went, you know, like, hey, you know, I'm willing to volunteer, and Light was actually originally against that, but, you know, with Dr. Wily kind of running around, they kind of didn't really have a choice. There's this thing in, um, I think it's the American Manual, which makes up some shite about Wily trying to reprogram Mega Man as well and it not taken. I don't think that's canon. Well, actually, uh, if you play Mega Man Powered Up, uh, depending on who you play as, because you can actually play as the different Robot Masters besides Mega Man in that game, like, Dr. Wily will come up to you, then he'll make up some bullshit excuse about why he's too lazy to actually use you, like... I think with, like, cuts, man, he's like, oh, I'm afraid of scissors or some shit like that. I don't know. I can't exactly remember. But they're really bad reasons, trust me, for some of them. Like, he doesn't reprogram Fireman in that scenario. Fireman! Come on! The guy who shoots fire. Yeah, you think you'd want him, like, front and center on your fucking world-dominating attack squad. Wow. For all the build-up, that was kind of a lackluster fight. And the weapon we get is actually going to be really helpful for later fights, as we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to break the game using the Elect Beam. Yeah, everyone probably already knows this trick, but we'll talk about it when we get to it. Okay, the next stage is Iceman's, and my god, this took me like, I think about 30 minutes to an hour, because fuck Bottomless Pits. I think Iceman, uh, you know, his uh, design here in the NES uh, graphics are, is easily the weakest. Like, his shoes look too big, his face looks too pouty, I don't know. Again, you it's in the NES, you can only do what you've got, but still. He just reminds me of Captain Cold from, um, I think it's the Flash continuity. I don't know, that's not necessarily bad. Captain Cold is actually a pretty interesting villain. Like, all of Flash's rogues gallery uh, are pretty interesting to me, personally. 
Now, Iceman, I think, was uh, designed to, like, explore Arctic regions, and they're like, God knows what Wily is going to do with it, apart from, like, freeze a bunch of people. Well, to be fair, Iceman can shoot freeze beams, so that is actually pretty helpful. I'm trying to remember his bullshit reason for not taking up Iceman and Mega Man powered up. It was probably something really stupid, like I said. Does it change for each Robot Master? Like, he has an excuse already pre-prepared. He does, for every <laughs> single one. Especially Roll, which you can play as in Mega Man powered up. I think his excuse was, oh no, it's a girl, or something like that. I don't uh, know. Of course it was. Oh god, one of the most infamous, I, I should say, examples of the disappearing and reappearing blocks in, um, in uh, any recent memory for me regarding Mega Man, really, even though this was a NES game and came out about 20 years ago. Yeah, the disappearing blocks, I have always hated those in Mega Man, and I remember this because they reused uh, parts of this stage in Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy, and oh god, it was a fucking nightmare. Uh, how do the Game Boy games stack up against their uh, console counterparts? I think they're pretty good. Like, they obviously reuse stage designs and they reuse, uh, you know, Robot Masters. I think you only have to fight four before you go on to, like, the last area of the game. But still, they're actually pretty well, you know, put together. They hold up pretty well, and it's a cool little Mega Man experience, uh, portable. They were actually at one point going to release, um, they released all the main Mega Man games, like Mega Man 1 through 8 and the Mega Man Anniversary Collection for, like, PS2, GameCube. Things like that. They were going to do that for actually all the Game Boy games for, like, DS or Game Boy Advance or something, but that never really panned out for some reason. Which sucks, because those games are actually pretty decent. So, I don't know. If you can find a chance to play those, I really do recommend you give them a shot. Oh god, that bottomless pit section with the floating platforms was the bane of my existence. You can use the Magna Beam to create bridges that will disappear quite quickly, so you got to be careful. But if you hold the button down, it can create longer bridges, so it's not too bad, but still a pain in the ass, because like I said, gravity just wants you dead. You go near the edge of a platform, boom, you're going down. So again, optional item, but otherwise not optional at all. Yeah, just rake me over the typo-spoken coals, why don't you? <laughs> Right, here we go. It's time to, you know, I, I kind of was pissed off at the stage, so if the stage is going to dick me over, I'm going to dick over the stage. Let's equip the Elec Beam, and check this shit out. We're going to fire it towards Iceman over here, and then we're going to keep hitting select. Boom, dead. Yeah, the infamous pause trick. I believe in some versions of this game, it's patched out, and in some versions of the game, it's not patched out. I believe in the Mega Man Anniversary Collection, you can't do the pause trick on the elect beam, I don't remember off the top of my head. But this trick will especially be essential for, like, a big boss fight coming up later on. Fireman, I don't really have much to talk about. The stage is much easier than Iceman's, and, um, the, the guy himself in too hard, really. It feels like a breather level, honestly. Well, that's good, especially after the shit you had to put up with in elect man's level, you know what I'm saying? Now, you were telling me you, ne you never finished this game as a kid. No, I barely fucking <laughs> played it. <laughs> like, recently, I was just like, oh god, what am I doing? I'm not made to play games. God did not put me on this earth to do that. <laughs> but he sure as hell did to let me talk over him, I'll tell you what. Hey, uh, talking over games and complaining about him is clearly a talent I was preordained by God to have. Mm -hmm. But you know what Fireman actually reminds me the most of? I remember back when I was a teenager and there was like this, uh... This guy with this art site, and I don't know if some of you have ever seen these, but he made, like, this mini-series of comic books. Like, they were okay art. About, like, he took Fireman and made him, like, this gritty loner badass, and he fought, like, Searchman. It was the stupidest shit around, but you know what? I kind of liked it, but I can never not think of Fireman and think about those damn comics. That's how much it's permeated me to this day. Uh, I don't know if we've talked about this, given my very short-term memory and the like, but the blue things you see throughout the stage will actually refill your Robot Master powers. I think they get refilled whenever you start a new stage, but don't quote me on that. But if you're, like, low on ammo and the like, because that's basically what it is, just search out those blue tidbits and you'll be all good to go. The thing is, in some of the other Mega Man games, I don't know if they do it with this one, but you actually have to have the weapon selected to refill that ammo, unless in later games you get an item which just refills them all evenly no matter what. Which, trust me, you know, is a lot more essential than remembering to switch to the weapon you needed to be reloaded. It's like, it should have worked like guns in Doom, you know, just pick up ammo, there it works. I have no idea how you're supposed to get past this, I'm gonna be honest, didn't do much research, but you know, I, I, it didn't kill me outright, so I just figured run past it. I think you're supposed to freeze it, I don't know. 
Be careful with these guys, they're basically flying bombs, and uh, they can catch you pretty easily. You kind of have to play Mega Man like you play him at Smash Bros. You have to spam the gun all the time and watch what you're doing. Although I do have to mention very briefly, you know, I just love how they adapted Mega Man to Smash. He's practically perfect mm -hmm. in terms of representing the games he comes from. Like, it was almost a flawless conversion, in my opinion. Great selection of music as well, which is more than I can say for Sonic and Metroid. Yeah, Mega Man has always had a bunch of great music, and especially in Mega Man 2, we'll get some really iconic songs, but the songs here are pretty good, too. I like Cutsman and Elecman's stage themes, personally. Yeah, this one's pretty good, too. Alright, what you do against fire? Obviously, you gotta bust out the ice, so let's do this. Uh, I thought you were supposed to blow it out, but then again, blow it out, man, doesn't really kinda go off the tongue very well. No, no, Air Man's not till Mega Man 2. Well, that's true, yeah, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to worry about that a bit later. There we go, all Robot Masters done and dusted, so we shall see you next time when we kick Wily off his golden throne. See you then.